Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are comparing the elite visa to the Thai retirement visa. I thought of making this video after reading a recent comment on our channel, quoting directly, the much higher upfront money for the elite visa will definitely make it, make it a harder landing, but the benefits at this point really seem to outweigh the limitations of a standard retirement visa. Uh, and this, was, this comment was posted on video. We talked about retirement hard landings versus soft landings. Again, the upfront cost of a five-year elite visa is 600,000 baht, roughly $20,000. Now, bear in mind, that's spent money. Yes, it is a requirement with a Thai retirement visa that one show 800,000 baht in a Thai bank account or 65,000 baht per month in pension. But that 800,000 baht put into a Thai bank account, that remains your money. You're not spending that. That money is not gone. That's your money. You just need to prove you have it in order to get the Thai retirement visa. With an elite visa, you pay in 600,000 baht and you get a visa with a validity of five years. The sticker is actually for five years. So, and then again, the other thing that they say uh, that's said here, make it harder landing, but the benefits at this point really seem to outweigh the limitations of a standard retirement visa. I don't really see that. If people hit 50, I think for most folks, especially like Westerners that, are, that really kind of are retired, the elite visa, I don't see what it's really getting that person. Because, for example, people don't really stop to take a look at the fact that, look, Thailand elite, the sticker is for five years, but you get one-year stamps at one-year intervals. So when you have to go back to get your one year, it's very much akin to just getting an extension of a Thai retirement visa. It's, it's very similar, quite honestly. And I don't see where that, you know, again, where you still have to go in, you still have to do with, deal with an extension, that kind of causes me to question the notion that elite is substantially better, quote unquote, than a standard Thai retirement visa. Because at the end of the day, you're still showing up to extend once a year if you just want to remain in country. So it's not just a five years and off you go, you never have to see immigration again. No, you still have to deal with 90 day reporting and you still have to deal with once a year renewal if you want to stay in country. Now, the nice thing with the elite is you can just hop out and do a border run and hop back in and get another year, but a lot of people don't want to do that. And frankly, with travel systems still kind of being in a state of disarray, even though it looks like we've truly put COVID behind us, God, I hope so, but the, again, it's not going to be something people are going to be really wanting to do, I think, moving forward through the next couple of years in the foreseeable future. So for that reason, I'm not convinced that elite outweighs the retirement visa. What I would look at it as is they are different types of visas for different types of people. Some types of people are really going to enjoy the Thailand elite visa, whereas some types of people, especially folks that are a little bit more sedentary in their lifestyle, they just want to come to Thailand and be done. I don't really see the major benefit that, is, that outweighs just the standard Thai retirement visa by using the elite visa.